Bible verses on overcoming fear. Deuteronomy 3.22 Do not fear them, for the Lord your God himself will fight for you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor be scared of them, for the Lord your God is he who is going with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Joshua 1.9 haven't I commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, neither dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Psalm 23, 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 27, 1 to 3. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers came at me to eat up my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army is deployed against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, even then will I be confident. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 46, 1-3 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we won't be afraid, though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas, though the waters roar and are troubled, though the mountains tremble with their swelling. Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved. Psalm 56, 3 to 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, I praise his word. In God, I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Psalm 91, 4 to 8. He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Psalm 94, 19. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your comforts delight my soul. Psalm 112, 6-8 Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. Psalm 118, 6-7 The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is my helper, I will look in triumph on those who hate me. Proverbs 3, 23-26 Then you shall walk in your way securely, and your foot won't stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. You will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden fear or of the storm of the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being taken. Proverbs 29, 25 The fear of man proves to be a snare, but whoever puts his trust in the Lord will be set on high. Isaiah 35, 4 Tell those who have a fearful heart, be strong, do not be afraid. Look, your God will come with vengeance, God's retribution. He will come and save you. Isaiah 41, 10 Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41, 13 for I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand saying to you, Do not be afraid, I will help you. Isaiah 43, 1 But now thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid, I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. Isaiah 54, 4 Do not be afraid, for you will not be put to shame, nor will you be humiliated, for you will not be disgraced. Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 10, 29 to 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall to the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Therefore, do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Luke 12, 22 to 26. 
Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious for your life, what you will eat, nor yet for your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they do not sow, they do not reap, they have no warehouse or barn, and God feeds them. How much more valuable are you than birds? Which of you, by being anxious, can add a cubit to his height? If then you are not able to do even the least things, why are you anxious about the rest? John 14, 27 Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Romans 8, 15 For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Romans 8, 31 What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 38 to 39 For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 1 Corinthians 16, 13 Watch, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Philippians 4, 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Hebrews 13.5-6 Be free from the love of money, content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you, so that with good courage we say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? 1 Peter 3, 13-15 Now who is he who will harm you if you become zealous for that which is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you are blessed, and do not fear what they fear, nor be troubled. 1 Peter 5, 6-7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your worries on him because he cares for you. 1 John 4, 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has punishment. He who fears is not made perfect in love.